Hey there, Blog Tribe. It's Pete down here in the corner. I've been editing podcasts for a really long time. I think I'm pretty good at it, and at least I'm really quick at it. So I figured I'd record a video actually just over my shoulder. Here you are back here watching me zoom, editing my podcast episode. So I just got through recording, recording, recording an interview with my friend Rich on niche sites using Riverside.fm, which is absolutely my favorite uh, like remote recording software ever. Riverside is fantastic. Please use my affiliate link in the links below the description. Riverside's worth it. I love it. I've been using them for about a year and a half now. Super stoked. So I downloaded the different WAV files. I used their magic editor in the past, which is also really good. But uh, for this one, I just uh, created a new folder here, Rich. And I have our two uh, waveforms right there. There's the interview. So let's just start. I am using Hindenburg. I've used Reaper before, Logic Pro. I've used all of them, pretty much. I'm currently on a Hindenburg kick. I'll uh, introduce my Sonic branding and uh, just go move that over with shortcuts to the very beginning of the episode. I'm actually just going to record an intro right now. i got my microphone set up. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to take a drink of water. Hello there, Do You Even Blog tribe. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Do Even Blog podcast. It's a show for bloggers and podcasters who want to make money on the internet. I have an amazing show for you today with my good friend and online impact member, Rich from Meal Prepify and uh, a few other niche sites, as you'll see. And speaking of niche sites, that is what we are here to talk about today. As many of you might know, I actually started my own niche site outside of Do You Even Blog. It is currently private. I'm not sharing the URL because I don't want to influence, you know, the data, the traffic numbers, just to start from scratch. I did this about three months ago. Rich has been, do has been doing niche sites for quite a bit longer. He is, I think, up to like $7,000 a month, $8,000 a month as of the time of this recording. That's up from like his first $1,000 a month about a year ago, which is absolutely incredible. He has three sites total. One's a little bit older. He, he has like two niche sites specifically. And so I wanted to have him on to help me grow my niche site, <laughs> make more money here. We talk a lot about keyword research, competitor research for SEO. We talk about the latest Google algorithm update. We talk about how to make content that ranks. That's a weird question, but this is what people get hung up on. Uh, and not only that, but his overall content strategy. He has writers and editors. And we talk a little bit about the expected ROI of that. Like how much can I actually spend on this? And when am I going to make that money back? Quite frankly, we talk a lot about niche site growth, SEO strategies, and so on and so forth. So you can find Rich on Twitter. I believe it's at PF Geeks. It's an old handle of his on Twitter, but you can find Rich there. And you can also find him in online impact. So do you even blog.com slash OI do you blog.com slash OI. Online Impact is our private membership. I will hashtag self promo. I tell you to go check it out and there, uh, right there and join us. I've lowered the cost to make it more accessible. You should go check it out. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy this niche site conversation with the only, the, the only, the only, well, he is the only, but he's also the one, the only rich from mealprepify.com. Oof. Okay. I did it. Uh, <laughs> command S save. That's a pretty good first take, right? I think so. Uh, delete out that right there. I do have segues and favorites right here in Hindenburg. So I'll uh, pull one of these down here and uh, I like to make sure this lines up. Let me just zoom in, make sure it lines up. This is gonna be like right here. All right, I got my little segue in there. Now I need my file on this track. And I got the other track set up for Rich. And again, I'm just using hotkeys to like move these files around. It kind of snaps to the grid. It also snaps to other files and it also snaps to my cursor on the timeline. So I like to just select this guy right here and line it up that way. So let me go ahead and uh, just delete off this thing. I like to get things lined up first and then I do my levels and effects. So let me just remember how to Line that up. I'm select all following and move it up to this guy. It's going to be like right here. Rich, welcome back to the show. It's good to be here, Pete. And then I got a little bit of dead space. I'm not going to do this all throughout the episode. 
Uh, for one thing, that'd be a boring YouTube video, but also I just don't care. So last time we talked. All right, so there's the interview. I'm not gonna edit it any further. I could, if I wanted to, plug it into Descript uh, and so forth. I'm not gonna edit like the ums. I'm not gonna take any of that out, quite frankly. So let me put in another segue somewhere right around here. Uh, let's Please, make sure this uh, ending works out right. Do that. Rich, thank you so much for coming over. Thank you, man. Enjoyed it. Uh -huh. Okay. Move that a little bit closer this way. Thank you, man. And uh, let me record a quick outro. Alrighty then, Blog Tribe. I hope you enjoyed that little chat with Rich. Uh, so let me give you another call to action. Self-promo. Do you even blog.com slash OI. As in just the letters O and then an I. That stands for Online Impact, which is our private membership community where Rich and I and lots of other people hang out and talk shop on niche sites, SEO, YouTube, online business strategy, support. We have mastermind groups. We do live calls. We do quarterly workshops with experts. And it's an amazing place to get help and support growing your business. If you don't want to be alone on this journey, go check out Online Impact. Do your blog.com slash OI. Again, special thanks to Rich for coming on here and sharing his expertise with us. And special thanks to you, Do You Even Blog Tribe, for listening. Go tell a friend. That's all I ever ask. And thank you for listening to today's show. I'll see you next time on the podcast. Adios. All right, we're done. So, last but not least, I want to add this guy right here as an outro little thing. Probably be like right here. Okay. Cool. So everything is lined up. I got my intro. I got my outro. I got my interview. What I really want to do is select all. How can I? Uh, well, let's not. Let's do this. I'm going to select this thing right here. Select all following. There we go. And then I'm going to do magic levels. Magic levels here in Hindenburg. This is, well, it's doing exactly what it sounds like. It's leveling the track and getting everything to be roughly the same volume. It's taking down some of the background noise uh, by default as well. It's gonna take another second. Everything is auto leveled and now my track is leveled. I'm gonna command S to save. And now I'm gonna throw just a few effects on here. I'll probably do like a little bit of light compression, etc. So this is obviously pretty good. I'm gonna do, I don't really need that much background noise reduction uh, for this one. I don't think so. Uh, what I will do is I like to do Nectar. I paid one time fee of like 40 or 50 bucks for this Nectar from Isotope. I use their automatic vocal assistant. It's kind of like cheating. It really does work pretty well. Dialogue, uh, let's do light. I hit next and I gotta play some audio. And, uh, going to listen to this and make it better. What we're here to talk about today. As many of you might know, I actually started my own niche site outside of Do You Even Blog. It is currently private. I'm not sharing the URL because I don't want to influence, you know, the data, the traffic numbers, just to start from scratch. I did this about three months ago. Rich has been, do has been doing niche sites for quite a bit longer. He is, I think, up to like $7,000 a month, $8,000 a month as of the time of the months ago. Okay, so and Hardy has a bunch of stuff on here. EQ, some some attractive EQ has more EQ down here, and it has a compressor. So this is generally the only thing I really touch and change here. I basically just change the compression. I set the threshold to about minus sixteen dB. Uh, One point seven is a good ratio. I don't want it like too harsh, like two or three. That's that's too much. I like to start small. Attack generally like three milliseconds, three point five. Release somewhere a hundred, one hundred fifty. This is generally okay, and if I, I usually set my speakers, by the way, to like a very constant level on my Mac, you can see down here, I always have it set to five bars, and I generally have a good sense of loudness, and it is a little bit leveled already, but I really just wanna understand, do I need to add a little bit more gain? It's also worth noting that, let me save it, command save it, uh, that Hindenburg, especially once I hit export, is going to do some leveling, some loudness uh, for me. We'll get to that in just a second. But let me just see if I need makeup gain for this compressor. Blog. It is currently private. I'm not sharing the URL because I don't want to influence, you know, the data, the traffic numbers, just to start from scratch. I did this about three months ago. Rich, okay. So there is a bit of background noise. Actually, excuse me. There is a bit of background noise. Uh, I should, can I move this down? Move that down. I'm going to put the isotope noise reduction, voice denoise right here. Let's play that. To make money on the internet. I have an amazing show for you today with my good friend and online impact member, Rich.
It might be a little bit of background noise. I'll just do that. All right, so that's going to be that track. I'm going to do the same thing for these down here. This is, I'm going to do Rich first. Okay, so I'll do a little bit of noise reduction for him. And I'm actually just going to use the built-in uh, Hindenburg thing here. Noise reduction. Just a little bit. Very light. I don't want to like do too much of anything. I am going to do the same Nectar 3. He's going to need a little bit of EQ to make him a little bit more understandable, I feel like. So I'm going to let the vocal assistant run for him in the same way. Dialogue, light, next. And I'll let it play here just for a couple seconds. crushing it. Um, I used a content agency to produce the content um, on this new site. They had done work for me on meal prepify and they had done a good job to be honest. So I liked them. I, I was, I've been using them for over a year. And um, so then I, I said, Hey, I got a bunch of money. I'm starting a new site. I want to, I want to start big. Um, ordered a crap ton of content from them. And they used a okay. So let's listen to before and after really quick. A content agency to produce a lot of the content um, on this new site. They had done work for me on Meal Prepify. It looks like it could use a little bit less. It's like a little bit muffled up in here in the EQ, so I'm going to just briefly touch that down. I'm going to turn the volume, my volume up a little bit. I'm sorry if this comes through. I thought I was going to be crushing it. Um, I used a content agency to produce a lot of the content um, on this new site. They had done work for me on Meal Prepify, and they had done a good job. So I like them. I, I was I've been using them for over a year, and um, so then I, I said, "Hey, I got a bunch of money. I'm starting a new site. I want to want to start big." Um, ordered a crap ton of content from them. Okay, so that's not perfect, but it's not bad. It's it's not terrible. Um, on this new site, they had done work for me. On I still got a little frequency in there that I can't quite put my finger on. I'm not precisely sure what it is, to be honest with you. I'm not that good at podcast editing, but it's 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 listenable. It's listenable for sure. To produce a lot of the content um, on this new site, they had done work for me on Meal Prepify. I think it's okay. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. All right, here's me. I'm going through the Authority Hacker guys program yeah. right now. Um, but a little bit of noise reduction. The Authority site system. And I'm a little boomy. I'm a little bassy down here. I'm going to do the same Nectar three, and just let this run for a couple of seconds. You'll have to bear with me here on the video. You can skip forward if you want. Um, the authority site system, it's TASS. Yeah, I don't know, awesome. people can Google it. Actually, I got an affiliate link, so don't Google it. <laughs> Come see me, I'll let you know. Uh, really like it, and one thing, this is the one takeaway. Way better, way better. So I've gone like halfway through the program. I'm up to the point now where I have to produce content, so I haven't, I haven't gone in in a couple of weeks. But there's one massive takeaway that I've gotten so far. And you just said it. And I wrote down in my notes here, be objective. Now here's what that Yeah, that was is. way better. So I'm actually gonna come and do some of my same compression settings. Minus 16-ish, ratio one seven, uh, attack pretty quick, release, somewhere in there. Yes. They were able to get down in the nitty gritty. A little bit here, okay. Research, competitive okay, stop. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So I think I'm pretty good here. For me that, I'm going to turn him up a little bit. We're not optimized for the target keywords that I asked him to. So they're, the keyword is being mentioned, you know, maybe once in the, or twice in the entire 2000 word article, um, which is just a you know, pretty simple mistake. Um, internal linking wasn't happening at all. Um, and that particular batch of okay. content. A lot I think that's okay. So one last take and make sure these transitions are... Good to go. I gotta make sure this is, oh, this is something I haven't done yet. Oh, I'm glad I caught it. That would have been awkward dead space <laughs> right there. So let me uh, select all following and then move them all forward. And it's gonna be right about there. Hello there, do you even blog? Try much better. That's a little bit loud. So at the end here, let's make sure this works the out. The Rich. That's gonna look good. Let's go to the end here. All right, check this out. Thank you, man. I enjoyed it. And again, I forgot to move this. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I'm doing this. This is why I do this, right? Uh, let's move this one up. Is this enough? Already then blog track. A little bit more. 
a little bit more right there. Already then blog. All right, now we're good. Make sure this is lined up. Adios. Okay. I actually did a really poor job the first time I did that. All right, there we go. My podcast is now mostly edited. I'm going to export from Hindenburg, which has built-in leveling features here. I'll just show you some of my options. I am, uh, let's do mono 96 bit rate, sample rate, no, no, no. Minus uh, 16, I'm good. MP3, medium quality, it's all fine to me. I'm going to export that, just put it in my downloads folder. And this will probably take about... I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, I'm guessing. Uh, and that's it. That's how I edit my podcast episodes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is super laid back. I didn't even like shower today or do my hair. It's a little funky. Thanks for watching this, podcasters. I hope you learned something here. After this, it's up to Buzzsprout. Riverside, Hindenburg, Buzzsprout, using some isotope plugins along the way, and we're good to go. I'll leave a link here to some other podcasting videos. If you'd like to see a little bit more of my workflow, get even more tips and tricks on how I speed some of the processes up that I did not show here today. And other than that, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed this. Hashtag like, comment, subscribe here on YouTube if you dig this stuff. And thanks for watching. Adios.